Good morning. Welcome. It is Monday, October 31st, and uh, we are live. And I'm going to give Facebook a few seconds here to uh, get people in. I'm just going to check my page and make sure that this is running uh, fine. And I just wanted to welcome you. It's Monday morning. It is October 31st. It's a fun day for kids. Lots of uh, trick-or-treating going on. It's a different year for me this year. Uh, well, my oldest daughter is 16, which some would say is too old for trick-or-treating. Um, last year, she still really loved it. And um, this year, uh, she figured she would still be going out only because her younger brother, who just turned 12, was still interested. And last year, he was gung-ho. This year, he really acted like he was gung-ho. And then all of a sudden said, nah, I don't really care. And she said, mm, I don't really care. And tonight is Taekwondo night and they get to wear some costumes to Taekwondo and they're going to have fun and play and be with all their friends. So they said, you know what, would rather not trick or treat. We want to go to Taekwondo. So tonight, for the first time since I've had kids, uh, we aren't going to be doing trick or treating, which is fine with me because it's pouring rain outside and I don't want to be out in the rain another year. Um, so instead they're going to go to Taekwondo. I'm going to go to the gym and then after we're going to get together at Taekwondo, they have a, a second class at eight o'clock and I'm going to join in and play with them in that class. So we'll see how that goes. I'll report back. So welcome to today. I'm Sherry Lee Wojcik. Of course, this is my business page that you're watching me on. I thank you for being here. And as you come in, please take a moment and write in the comments who you are and where you're watching from and what your business is. I'd love to know. Um, so the reason for this video today is right now I'm running a Facebook Live challenge. I'm teaching over a hundred business owners how to use Facebook Live to build connection and relationship with people who are in your ideal audience and to grow that connection with them so that they can become your customers and your clients and you can grow your business using Facebook Live. So this challenge started today and it's a five day challenge and it's, it's fantastic. I'm so happy over a hundred heart centered entrepreneurs, coaches, authors, teachers all came and uh, have joined me and are um, participating in this challenge. And each day they're going to be given a theme. I'm going to teach them a little bit about using Facebook live and then I'm going to give them a theme to do a Facebook live on. So they're all going to do Facebook lives this week. I'm excited about that. And so I'm joining in. So today is day one. And the theme today is, so I hope you have coffee and tea with you. The theme today is getting to know you, getting to know me a little bit, and why. And I wrote that as a comment. Why do you do what you do? Now, <clears throat> so I'm Sherry Lee Wojcik, and you know, I'm a mom of two kids. I've told you that already. I'm a single mom of two kids. And, um, you know, I started my business, goodness, six years ago. I'm just blown away. I'm going to take these off because they're reflecting. If somebody comes in and comments, then I'll have to put them back on. But for now, I don't need to. So um, I, I started my business six years ago, and I really started it just as a side business to have. I homeschooled my kids. They were six and ten at that time. And... I homeschooled them. We spent a lot of time together. We went out and played together with a lot of uh, homeschool families, did a lot of activities with them. Um, and I really, you know, my, my husband was, had his own business. And uh, the thing was, his business had ups and downs like this, right? Peaks and valleys quite a bit of the time. And I was getting a little tired of those valleys. And the valleys were starting to get longer, and last longer periods of time all the time. And it was, it was concerning to me because during those valleys, that's when my family was seeing um, the impact of his, of his inconsistency in his business. So my kids were going without some classes. Um, you know, we were struggling financially in some ways. And so I, I decided I wanted to create a business. I'd had uh, you know, some network marketing businesses. I'd done Osborne Books. I'd done um, Discovery Toys, those sorts of things. I'd created um, a small business for myself called Mail for Kids, which was a mail subscription service for kids. So adults would subscribe their kids. And then I created really fun educational 
mail that kids received every month and there was a collector's box and all those things. So I had done that, but I wanted to be away from my kids less, work less and earn a bit more money than what I was earning to bolster up those valley times. And, you know, my marriage wasn't great at that point. It had started out really good, but we'd been married 14 years and the last couple of years had been really challenging. Um, he was making some choices in his business and personally that I wasn't agreeing with. We were, um, we were really pulling apart from each other. We were, I was seeing that we were very, um, different in our values and our ethics around things. And there had been some things that had been going on that were very concerning. And I was thinking the day may come when I need to be on, when I'm going to be on my own. Let me grab a Kleenex. I'm sorry. My nose is running. So, you know, I thought I'll start this business, um, doing, uh, workshops locally, teaching people how to use Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn to grow their businesses. And so it was just meant as a part-time gig. A couple of workshops a month is what I was really aiming for. That was bringing in a little bit of extra money. I had some income. I had some time out of the house with uh, adults. And, you know, I was doing something that I loved. I taught myself how to do social media for my last business, the, the little mail business that I'd started. And it was a lot of fun. And then six months after I started my business, I took the kids out swimming one day and then I took them, uh, they went to swimming lessons, we had lunch at the pool, and then we went to homeschool science lessons at a different community center. And when they were in that class, my phone rang and it was my husband. And I answered it and all he said to me was, I've changed the locks on the house, don't come back, there's lots of hotels. And he hung up and that was the last time I spoke to him. February 28th, I believe, 27th, 2011. Um, and that was the last time I have spoken to him. And he hasn't spoken to the kids since as well. And I do not know where he is. And um, that's, that's okay with us now. Um, but as you can imagine, I sat there in the community center that day. My life had just been shattered. Um, I, I had no idea where to go. We had no family locally. Um, I had no friends I could go to. I knew my kids would be devastated. I didn't know what I was going to do. And so, you know, I, out of, uh, um, he wouldn't let us come into the house to collect anything. He did allow his brother to hand some things over the fence to us. So we actually managed to get our treasure cat that night and a few things that we wanted, um, and we went to a hotel and we spent a week in a hotel trying to figure out what to do. And I went to court and he never showed up for any court dates or anything. And eventually, you know, we got back into the house and uh, the house was not something I could maintain. I was just trying to figure out how to how to keep going how to, and how to get up every day to uh, be with these kids and deal with the kids and and be present for them and, and be a value to them. Cause I could have easily stayed in bed and, uh, you know, not put the covers over my head and, and done nothing. But every day my kids needed me to get up and be more and do more and push myself. And so I did. And people had started to say to me, would you manage our social media for us? And I started saying yes, because I needed to generate an income. So I sold the house we were in. We moved into a rental house, <clears throat> which was really nice and new. And we loved that. But, you know, there's been a lot of challenges and struggles over the last six years. And, I mean, my own personal demons have come up. Um, I've learned over the years doing counseling that he had been a lot more damaging to my self-esteem and my self-confidence than I knew at the time. I didn't know that I was struggling as much as I was then as I know now in retrospect and you know my poor kids were devastated that their father who although he was erratic and unpredictable and they had issues with him they certainly had challenges they were little kids and they loved him and he just disappeared and that has been hard on them and you know through the six years five almost six years since he's walked away from this family I have 
I've worked hard to support the family. I've worked hard to figure out my issues and to get over my self-confidence, my lack of self-confidence, my insecurities, um, and push myself to do things. I, I now, you know, offer a variety of services. I have people on my team. Uh, we travel. We um, have a lot of time together. My kids continue to homeschool. My daughter has a job. My son has a dream of a job. And he's working towards it. And I'm, I'm moving closer to my dreams. My dreams are coming out. I'm starting to remember what my dreams are. And I'm starting to uh, move towards them every day. And it's definitely become um, a much different focus than it was when we first were on our own. And I remember a year after um, that event happened and we were, you know, on our own and I had been, I didn't sleep well the first few years, that's for sure. And I I got up one morning and I was tired, but I'd been ruminating, you know, thinking in my sleep overnight about things and running things through my head, what had happened and how I reacted and what I could have done differently. And I got up and I remember saying to my daughter who was having a tough day that morning and was asking, you know, why did he do this? Why would he do this to us? And I remember saying, um, I'm going to make sure that this is the very best thing that ever happened to us. And that became my mantra. And so can you imagine the mindset? A 14-year marriage ended in such a horrible way. And I'm determined it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to us. We're going to be stronger, more confident, more fulfilled because of that. And from that mission of not letting this beat me, because there's no way in hell this is going to take me down, was my mindset. I know that now. Then I was hoping, right? Then it was a lot of, you know, a lot of dreaming that that was going to be the case. But now I know there's no way because, you know, now it's so far in the past. But out of that statement of this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to us, I realized a, a piece of my mission that I wasn't aware of. And that was, I never want to see another woman and children in the position that I was in. I was completely financially dependent on him. He destroyed my credit. He um, did all kinds of things. And I'm not going to get into all the details of it. I mean, you, you don't need it. It's boring. It was simply put, I mean, I was about six months away from being so devastated. I couldn't have recovered from that. Um, and yet I was determined that this was never going, this wasn't going to be my defining moment in my life. I had way too much life left to let that define me. And I realized that I want to help women and children gain the confidence, gain the knowledge of their value, gain the tools to create lives that they love. If they want to travel the world these days with online businesses, there you can make money legitimately doing so many different things these days. On the online, there's so many different ways to make money and to earn an income that allows you to do what you want to do, that allows you to not be dependent and beholding to anybody else's whims or moods. And so my mission is to help women and children take control of their lives and not be victims to somebody else's moods or morals or ethics. And to to not let those take such a big place in your life that you lose sight of your own. So I teach tools to help people build their businesses But I'm planning a retreat next year as well in September of 2017 um, where we're not only going to work on building your business tools, but I'm partnering with a wonderful friend who's going to bring with her the tools to help you get rid of your limiting beliefs, clear out the garbage that's holding you back, stop listening to those messages, build your self-confidence, get yourself in that place, and then we're going to use the rest of the time to build your business. So this is going to be an amazing retreat of personal and business transformation. And I'm so excited for this. Um, And it's become more than that. It's become more than teaching you Facebook marketing. 
It's become empowering you to take control of your life so that you can live the life of your dreams with your kids or without, if you don't have them, without being controlled by somebody else's definition of you. So that's my mission. And I'd love to know what your mission is. Please leave a comment and let me know what your mission is. What is the reason why you do your business? What is the deep burning mission? Because it's that that reminds me when things get tough, when ads don't go the way I want, when I, you know, um, uh, things aren't working out the way I thought they would. I remember why I'm doing this stuff and that keeps me going. So share with me what your mission is. I thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to do another live stream tomorrow with whatever the theme is from our Facebook live challenge for tomorrow. And I'll share that with you there. And thank you for your time. Have an awesome day. I want you to go away today and I want you to think about what would make you happy today. What can you do right now that would make you happy? What do you need in your soul to fill you up, to give you the energy to get through whatever challenges you have in the day? Is that five minutes by yourself? Is it journaling? Is it uh, five minutes of watching a positive video on Facebook? Is it Um, you know, talking to a friend on the phone, do you need to go for a walk? Whatever you need, do something today that brings you back to you and listen to that voice deep inside and then come back and tell me what it said if you want. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your time and for whatever your message is and your mission is in this world. And I look forward to chatting with you tomorrow. Have a great day.